Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. We're probably going to kill some of our animals off today. How's that for a tease? Yeah. What am I talking about? Well, we're going to go do something that probably is not the best idea I've ever had. And, uh, tough. Because, ah, it seems like it might be fun. Oh, well. We're gonna make... Oh, um, no, don't, don't take that. That, uh, hmm, yeah. Don't you love when you do that? Craft it, please. I know, I don't actually need to craft the raptor saddle in there, but, uh, whatever. We're gonna take and have a little fun with some of our more scrappy creatures today. And, uh, like I said, I suspect someone's going to die. Not that I want someone to die. I just suspect someone will die. Now, you can, uh, <laughs> if you want to play along at home maybe take a guess before we get going here who do you think is going to die let me let me hop on skyline here and i'll let you know who the contenders are one of them's going to be rappy sorry rappy you're just going to have to uh fight hard there buddy and uh saber tooth mm, there you are who has not been named um for good reason i think kind of feel bad about naming rappy now that i mention all this anyway not to worry too much? Totally too much? I don't know. Something? Anyway, we have some more creatures over here, and these are going to be our other competitors in today's challenge. The challenge is going to be, well, one, how big of an idiot am I? And I don't really know what the answer is to that question. And the other part of that is, can I navigate these guys around anywhere? I don't know. That's a whole other problem. So I have everyone following Skyline. They're going to ignore me for right now. Hello, Spinosaurus, who has not been named. Holy cow. There you go. Spino, have a... Or Spinosaurus, have a good quality saddle. I found that one a while back on a beacon, I think. Now, obviously, Blaze over here. Let's go ahead and give Blaze the best chance at survival. You're going to get some more damage. You do have a boatload of health. You're not going to die right away. Rappy... You need yourself a brand spanking new saddle. Look at that. Ah, you look good in that saddle, don't you? You sure do. Blasco! Blaskovich, my friend. Uh, you already have a saddle, so you have a regular one. And then Sabertooth, I have one for you. This is based on that blueprint that I just used to start the episode off with. I have collected a variety of saddles and blueprints in, oh, I don't know however many days we've been playing now, 50 some odd of them. And, um, you know, sometimes you just have a little fun with them and finally get around to make them, to use them, to basically send your dinosaurs after a dialo. Okay, so that's kind of the early game here. Let's turn back around. And just because I'm curious, what level are you? I really wasn't paying attention. 28, that's not really high enough for me. So I'm going to have you killed. And right now we're playing with the easy stuff. So, you know, little dialo warm up, a little Gigantopithecus. Look at that. Blaze is just making short work of everyone. And I suspect that's going to be the case for most things. Oh, we got another Gigantopithecus coming to fight. No. Someone better turn around because you're about to get punched. That would be Blasco. No, that would be Spinosaurus that's getting punched. It looks like everyone is on the correct response, which is kill anything that hits me. Just to make sure. Let's go ahead and set everyone to neutral. Just in case I accidentally had someone on passive. I don't think I did. I, I generally don't leave these kind of beasts on anything other than kill without any sort of worry. Or at least defend me. Okay, you're going to pick on Skyline. There we go. I was just testing that one. Yep. Okay, everyone is on neutral. Everyone is looking good. Oh, look at that. We have some levels to dish out, so... Blaze, you are ready to level up. Let's see if we can get you. Uh, you're getting pretty close. You're getting close. You're getting darn near 200% damage. Blasco, you're going to be the next one to get a level. All right, Skyline, let's go. We're just going to turn everyone around over here. Now, if you remember yesterday's episode, you know there's some unfriendly stuff over here. I'm not going to turn around. Okay? Just so we can be clear here, I'm not turning around at this point. This is why I say someone is going to die. We are going to make another head, another uh, headstone, another gravestone, I think, on the next episode. There's a, I would suggest, suspect, whatever the word is, suspect, I know it's suspect. I just can't speak. I would suspect 
someone's going to die. Rappy, maybe Sabretooth. One of you will be the, the one to, to uh, mm, shuffle off the mortal coil. Okay, now I am trying to be somewhat careful in that I'm not just running flat out to uh, antagonize everything. So I'm not going to try and drown them. I don't want to do that. But just the same, I do want to go play with that Apex Spinosaurus. That Apex Spino is level 40, I think. If I remember correctly, we can here take a look. I have a spyglass. Look at that, level 40. All right, guys. We're going to do this. Look at that. There's all sorts of things over here that someone might be interested in. All right. That would be a raptor. And... Uh, that would be mm, me getting stuck under Spino here. There we go. And we are free. Free as a bird. Free as a bird. There we go. Let's watch the battle unfold. Oh, Rappy, not Rappy. No, not Rappy. I told you Rappy was going to eat it. <laughs> not Blasco. Oh, man. No. Oh, this is horrible. Why am I doing this? Ah, uh, this is a stupid idea. Everyone's been killed, except for the Spino, uh, the Apex Spino, and the cat. Holy cow, I think that Apex might be running. That's, that's what it looks like to me. You look like you are running away. I'm a little worried about the cat drowning. I think he, she, whatever it is, will be fine. All right, we got a, we got a standoff here. This actually reminds me a lot of one of the first UFC fights I ever saw. It was the most boring thing ever. It consisted of two people walking in a circle. It was really, really lame. That's what this looks like to me. I don't know if you're damaged at all. I don't know if you're damaged at all. Oh, looks like we have a Mega Piranha trying to eat the cat. That's a bad thing. Presumably the cat will be able to take care of itself over there. I don't know. I really can't tell which Spino is which. Aha, there we go. That helped out there. All right, I'm going to help out a little bit just because um, that seems like that might be a, a friendly thing to do because I suspect Blaze is going to eat it if I don't. Oh, look at that. Go, Blaze. I am sorry I ever doubted you. Good boy. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a big, scary, gigantic red Spinosaurus? That's right. Blaze is. Holy cow. Go, Blaze. You rocked the boat on that one. Man. All right, cat. How are you doing? Uh, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna go ahead and force feed you a little bit. I should probably go look into making some of those dinosaur healing thingy majiggers that I couldn't make many, many episodes ago because I lacked, well, pretty much anything and everything necessary to make them. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. We'll just say this is fine, and you are at about full health, and we'll say that's good enough. Then we'll stop and check out Blaze here. So, Sabretooth barely survived between both Mega Piranha and then everything else. Sabretooth took a beating. I don't want this meat to all go away. So, let's just go ahead and harvest what I can from this. Do you have anything on you? You have, um... Nah. You don't really have anything I care about. I don't care about a trophy or arms. Okay, we'll take that. Blaze... And, uh, Sabretooth, I guess you need to hold on to this stuff for the time. Well, now you're still potentially going to die, so we don't want you holding on to that. Instead, we'll we'll give that to someone else. Skyline, you can hold on to that for me. Thank you very much. Blaze, how are you doing? You're ready for a level. You need to recover a lot of health, but, um, look at that. You're at over 200 now. Oh, holy cow, look at that. Oh, that is fantastic right there. Let's just give you... Everything you can eat for the time being. Yeah, you really do need one of those whatever healing thingy majiggers are. I, I truly, I don't remember what they're called. It's a dinosaur repair kit, essentially. There you go. Wow, look at that. Blaze, um... Blaze didn't take too much damage. I suspect that's because if we go over here... And let's go over here and inspect this sad, sad sight. Uh, these are what took all of the damage. So... Blasco, sorry, you, um... Kind of ate it. Here, I'll go ahead and take the meat, because... And the spoiled meat, why not? And the Carno saddle. Can I take your saddle? There we go. Take your saddle. And, um... Hey, it's free raw prime meat. Don't blame me. 
We'll give you the hides and the raw prime meat and the carno saddle because you can carry all that stuff, Blaze. You could use a little more food, so here you go. Give you a little bit more of that, and then uh, we'll just blast through one more stack just to to help you out here. It's not really going to make that big of a dent. I realize that. I really, truly do. But, um, ah, there you go. Whatever. And then let's go check out um, our poor dead Spino over here. I'm not going to worry about all that meat because you have way too much on you. I will take that Spino saddle, though. And, yes, I'm pretty well aware I'm encumbered. Ah, dang it. Here, hold that. Can I move now? There we go. I figured I would be able to move eventually. All right, let's go ahead and give you the saddle. And I know that is a ton of spoiled meat, but hey, I can make some narcotics out of that stuff. Don't judge me. And you know what? Here you go. Have some more hides. And um, do I have any more stuff I can give you? Not really. I guess I can take that off of you. And then don't want to let anything go to waste. I told you this guy was going to die. You got to trust me when I tell you these sorts of things. I hope you didn't get attached because if you did... You really shouldn't have. I, I I, was totally on the level with you. I told you that one was going to die. He was, frankly, too low level, and I was bound to do something dumb. If you've watched anything I've done, you know I do dumb things. So there you go. Look at that. We are back up to 34,000 hit points with Blaze here, who is our just killing machine, level 62. And we still have the cat with us. And um, I don't know. Are we done? I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. I think that's Rappy down there. Here, let me go. Let me go check and see if that's Rappy in the water. I, I think that's Rappy. Uh, no, you're you're not you're not Rappy. Okay, whatever. That's just all the meat that I ignored. Whatever. Sorry about that. We can ignore that. We can continue to ignore that. Last thing we might do is maybe play with one of these guys over here. I suspect Blaze could make short work of pretty much anything in this general vicinity. So let's go ahead and make Blaze work for it. All right, guys, go to it. Let's see if the cat survives. I don't know what to expect. I might have just unwittingly or wittingly killed off most of our mm, dangerous creatures. Not really sure about that. We'll find out. Oh, look at that Apex Raptor. Yeah, this is bad timing. So we got an Apex Bronto that they're actually making really short work of and that other bronto is now toast i think if not is about to be i think blaze must be hitting both of them at the same time because they look like they are going down incredibly quickly yep there goes the big one the big normal one and then here comes the the real big one look at that oh good job good job blaze holy cow you rocked that bronto and i'm going to risk it by setting down over here this might not be a good idea can I access your inventory? If not, that's fine. I have no problem just stealing what meat I can from you. I'm going to need some raw prime meat. I can always use raw prime meat. So, uh, you know, whatever. It's all good. And then let's just see. Can I access you? It doesn't look like it. Come on, raw prime meat. I need a much better pike so I can get more meat. This is um, frankly disappointing. That's all I got. Okay, let's hop back on Skyline before something dumb happens. Don't want something to happen to Skyline here. That's kind of my escape. So, uh, if for no other reason than purely, 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 purely selfish ones, I don't want anything to happen to Skyline. I think we're pretty much good. What do you say? We're pretty much good? I think we're good. I killed off three dinosaurs today. Not intentionally killed them, but, um, yeah, I definitely killed them off. Ooh. Two of them had names, too. I really wasn't expecting Blasco to go, if I'm going to be honest with you. I knew it was a possibility, but I really wasn't expecting that to happen to Blasco. So, yeah, sorry, Blasco. I, I pretty much suspected Rappy was done, but that's in part due to the changes some months back. Some months back? No, some couple weeks back. And also because we are playing with a stupid mod that has incredibly overpowered dinosaurs. And that's just the way things happen when you are running around with stupidly powerful dinosaurs. So here's where I wrap things up and I ask you, so, were you right? Did you guess correctly who was going to die? I don't know. Let me know what your let me know what your guesses were and how right you were, because um I don't know. Well that's totally cruel. I think it made for an interesting game. And I will catch you on another episode, so don't forget to thumbs up, thumbs down, do subscribe if you have not already. Let me know how you scored. I'll catch you on the next episode. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.